Ride With Alina. My name is Alina and welcome to this 25 minute lunch break workout. Since high school, I had never really been a person who used their lunch break to eat. I always used it as an opportunity to get in a quick workout. I have designed this class so that there is a perfect amount of time to quickly get changed into our workout clothes, hop on the bike, work hard for 25 minutes, hop right back off and quickly shower and then get right back to school or work. This class is meant to be a mental refresher from your day to re-energize you. It is enough time to get in an effective workout. And of course, it is meant to be enjoyable. After we warm up, we are gonna have three blocks, a hill block, a hit block, and then a mountain climb block. Each block consists of two songs total. And then of course, we're gonna cool down. So throughout the ride, I'm going to be coaching resistance on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being extremely light and 10 being extremely heavy. RPM will be displayed in the bottom right hand corner. Our goal is to find that specific RPM with a proper challenging resistance. In our climbs, we're going to be going heavy and in our sprints, we're going to be using a light to moderate resistance and going for distance. With all that being said, make sure you have a sweat towel, a water bottle, put on a smile, and let's begin. All right, team, take one shoulder roll to the back. Brace that core, inhale from the hip. Find the beat of the music, 100 RPM. And then reach down, give me enough resistance to where you feel in control of the bike. That's it. Throughout the ride, we will always be in control of the bike. The bike is never in control of us. Nice neutral grip, neutral wrists. So throughout the warm up, we're going to be sticking to 100 and adding resistance to warm up the legs and increase the heart rate. Getting ready for our first gear change from a light three to a four. When you're ready, you can reach down and give me a little bit more. A little harder to push. Nothing crazy yet. Not yet. <laughs> In just a moment, we're going to change our hand position and bring our hands wide. Are we ready for it? Yes, we are. Hands wide. Keep the pace. That's it. Now this is the position we're going to be in in our seated climbs and a flat row sprint. Proper technique. Knees tracking in line with toes. Core always brace. Chest is proud. Chin is up. I think we're ready for another gear change. Bring it up to a 5 out of 10. Put it on. A little heavier, harder to push. But that's okay. That's what we want right now. All right, team. Approaching that part of the warm up where we get to accelerate. When the rhythm kicks back in, take it above 100. Or you can stay on the beat. Three, two, pick it up. All right, starting to feel warm. Heart rate is definitely lifting. Approaching the base of our first hill. Exciting. Our hill consists of two tracks total. Keep the pace up. Wanna make sure you guys are all nice and warm. All right, team, slow down, hands back in front, reset posture, so to the beat, 75 RPM. And then when you're ready, reach down, add some resistance, six out of 10. Moderate, approaching that beat. Throughout this first hill track, we're gonna be alternating between seated and stand climbs. We stitch every 30 seconds, so when you're ready, Take your hands back wide. Seated climb. Butt back. Chest proud. Pushing forward and down. 
and then pulling up and back. When you're ready, reach down, add a touch more resistance. We're getting ready to stand. Five, four, three, two, hands to the ends. Hop it up, hop it out. Moving side to side out of the saddle for 30 seconds. Brace in that core. Butt's having the saddle behind us. Elbows are in. Perfect riding technique. So we have more resistance when we stand because we get to use the momentum of our body to move us side to side. All right, getting ready to sit. Hands wide, butt back. Option, take off the edge of the resistance or stick with it, with the push. Light grip in the handlebars. We don't want to tense too much. All the energy should be in the leg. 15 more seconds. So we are now on an incline. Making it to the top. Getting ready to stand in three, two, bring it back. If you took them off, put it right back on. Resistance, that is. In our hills and in our mountain. We're going for heavy. Head in, in the middle. In our hips. That's when we were more so going for speed. We ready to sit? Yes, we are. Hands wide, butt back. Grind it out in the saddle. Definitely past the warm up now. Heart's beating, starting to sweat. Nice thing to remember, there's two parts to the pedal stroke. The push down and the pull up. Don't forget about either part. Equally working the down and the up. And hold. All right, team. We're slowing it down even more. 64 RPM. Leave your gear where it is. That's seven out of 10. We're gonna stand and build a combination. Option, reach down, add. Bring it up. Regular stand for 15 seconds. That's it. Part two of the combination is going to be a stand attack. Bring your hands further back, knees up to the handlebars. Brace the core. Shoulders in line with hips. Trying to keep the upper body still. All the energy in the legs. Part three of the combination, we accelerate. So pick up the pace right here in this attack position. That's it. That's the combination we're gonna be working through. Keep up the pace for the rest of the track. This time a little bit faster. What's first? Regular stand climb, but back. Seven, six, five, four, three, stand, attack, hands back for eight, seven, six, use the core, four, three, Two, accelerate for eight, for six, for four, for three, for two, slow, hands to the end. You guys look great. Four, three, two, attack. So we can really see the contrast. Using more quads in the attack. When we accelerate, we have to use our core to ensure we are staying centered. Two, stay and climb, stay and climb. Now are you in control of the bike? If not, reach down, more resistance, attack. If you can't quite hit the beat, take some resistance off. Three, two, accelerate. Bring it up, team. Maybe around 80 RPM. Slow, stay and climb. Six, five, four, three. Two, attack. This whole track is up out of the saddle. Get up that hill. Three, two, accelerate. Drive it, get some distance. Four, three, two, stand climb. Eight, seven, six, five, heavy breathing. Three, two, attack. Eight, seven, 
seven. Make sure to keep the elbows in. Five, four, three, two, pick it up. And take a seat. Reduce your resistance down. Five out of 10, racing resistance. Four or five, light to moderate feeling. We have our hip section. Starting with five flat row sprints and then hitting five standing power sprints. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for the whole block. Getting ready for our first one. When we accelerate, let's bring it up to 120 RPM. Hands wide, hips forward. Here on four, three, two, 20 on the clock. Let's go. So technique here, hands wide, hips are forward. Four breaks, dip the toes down. We work as hard as we can for the 20 seconds and then we recover. I actually want 125 plus. Three, two, slow. That's it, hands on the recovery. We just slow it right down. It's very short. Take it, two, one, back in it. We're back in it. Nice and quick. We're not going to the beat of the music. We are going based on the timer. Get breathless. This is called Tabata. One to two, work to rest. Four, three, two, one, slow. I meant two to one, work to rest. 20, 10. Woo. Three, two, one. Already in set number three. Now, are you reaching your RPM target? Just make note of where you're at. Maintain that for the next 10 seconds. Ooh, this was starting to pour. Two, one, slow. All right, team, in the next set. I want you to give me one or two more RPM compared to last set. Four, three, two, drop the shoulders, and go, accelerate. Imagine you're on a flat road. Wind blowing in your face. Oh, it feels good. Feels good to move quick. Keep the chest proud. We want to take in the oxygen, not look down. Three, two, one. Slow. We have one more until we change it up. Three, two, one. Last set. Best set. Make the most of these seated sprints. Six, five, four, three, two, hold on. Everyone reach down, give me a few gears. Seven out of 10. We're gonna stand and accelerate in our attack position. Three, two, accelerate. At least 90 RPM here. Changing up the stimulus. Now we're sprinting up a slight incline. If you want to use this effort as a recovery effort, no worries. Regroup, recenter, then rejoin. Two, one, fall to the beast. Keep the hands where they are. We're really going to burn up the quads. Four down, four to go. I mean, go. That team looks me in the eye. Is this really as fast as you can go? Less than 10. Pick it up. No time to waste. Three, two, one. Slow. Now you can take the recovery seated or stay standing with me. Three, two, accelerate right out of the gate. Up and down. Drive the knees up. Then push the toes. The feet straight down. Four, two, hold. Woo! Three down. That means two to go. Woo! Technically eight down, two to go. One, go! Treat this one like it's the last. We should definitely feel it in the front of our legs now. Don't quit on me. Five, three, two, slow. All 
right team. Slow it right down. This is our final set. And then we're block three. Give it your all, give it your best. Two and one. Let's go. These intervals only work when you put in the work. I'm here to guide you through it. But you need to show up for yourself to get a good workout. Five. To the finish. Cool. Absolutely amazing. Reduce the distance and just roll it out. On the beat, grab some air, then grab some water. Ending off. Block number two, very strong. Which leaves us with only one block to go. Find the beat of the music. We're in it. Our mountain climb. 60 seconds until our first stand. In this track, we have jumps. Now you may notice it's very slow, which means we need to make it happier. So start to add it back on. Right where we left off, our base climb seven out of 10. The gear we use in our power sprints, in the stand sprints, then take your hands wide butt back. Get in the grind. Only two more songs left in the work. Starting with four count jumps. What's a jump? We hop up out of the saddle for four, then we hop back down for four. Ooh, the music's building. We're ready for it. Maybe add a touch. Stay on 75. Three, two, up. Three, two, hands wide, butt back. For four, three, two, back up. Four, three, Two, brace the core, and down. Four, three, two, give me a few more. Slide your hands from the end of the handbar. Down, two, out wide. Three, two, back up. Four, three, two, and down. Turning it into eight counts. Stand for eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, take it back. Eight, seven, Five, push down, pull up, two, back up, back out. Next team, is this a mountain climb? Does it feel heavy? Two, and down, eight, seven, six. Hold right here, just hold right here. Move your butt further back. Push down through the heels. 30 seconds, seated climb. And then we hit four count jumps again. Then we have a 15 second climb, and then we're done. So basically one minute left in this track. Reset your posture. Loosen your grip, but tighten the muscles in the leg. We're ready. Three, two, pop it up. Four, three, two, back down. Grinding up in the saddle. Three, two, back up. Three, Two, sit, it gets harder when we sit. Two, back up. Four, three, two, sit. Four, three, two, one more. Four, three, two, take a seat, hold right here. Hold right here. Chest up, 15 seconds. Push and pull. Second last climbing track. Right to the finish. Strong. All right, team. Keep the gear where it is. Maybe wipe the sweat. We are moving into our final working track. In this track, we have two opportunities to level up. 30 seconds apiece, where we stand climb. Traditional stand climb, no combinations, none of that. When we stand, we add. When we stand, we intensify. So for right now, seven out of 10 gear. Flat back, chest up. We build where we left off. Two opportunities to add resistance in the 30 second block. One in the beginning, before we stand, and one halfway through the effort. So what does your eight out of 10 feel like? Your heavy climb resistance. It sticks you to the beat, 64, but it makes it hard to push. So we're on right now. Get ready to stand in three, two, bring it out, let's go. 
from side to side to that beat. You have to push down, you have to pull up. Or there's no way you're gonna move the pedals. And just like I promised, reach down and give me a gear. Nine out of 10. Now we only have to hold this for 15. So just put it on and don't think about it. And here's the beat. Burn in the legs, three, two, and take a seat. Take the edge off. Find the movement back in your legs. Be kind, but not too kind. Let the resistance change. 45 seconds down here. And then we hit our final, final interval. We stand for 30 just like we did in the last. Except at the end, I'm adding 15 seconds and we're gonna accelerate. We have those two same gear changes. Our eight, then our nine halfway through. Which means, yes, we do accelerate on our nine. Think about why you press play, team. Make your gear change, make it count, make it something you feel, and up and out. There it is! Now you came to put in the work. Reach down. Make your changes we feel. We get uncomfortable. So in the spirit of uncomfort, why don't we speed it up? Three, two, pick it up, pick it up. Now, it's a heavy resistance. So even if you pick it up by five RPM, that is what I want. Make it to the top plus seven. Four, three, two, Slow, your legs should slow. Take a seat, then reduce the resistance down to a nice three out of 10. Hands in front, find the beat of the music. When you're ready, roll it out on 87 RPM. That's it. We just did that. We are now gonna use the next few minutes flush out the legs to decrease the heart rate back down to resting and we're gonna do this on a nice light resistance so when you're ready take your hands wide and pick up the pace between 90 and 100 rpm wow this is a celebration of our success keep it coming three two Slow, hands back in front, let's push up, give me three shoulder rolls to the back, three, two, and one more, interlace your fingers, palms up to the sky, then drop the shoulders down and back, grab onto one wrist, pull it to the opposite side, side body stretch, and let's switch. Drop the arms down. Next stretch, ear to shoulder. Eyes up to the sky. And switch. When you're ready, come back to the middle. Step from the hip. Maybe take off a little bit more resistance. We have one more opportunity to accelerate. Four, three, and five. Pick it up. Oh, we just accomplished so much. I want you to remember this feeling and bring this energy into the rest of your day, the rest of your week. And your positive energy. Be that light in other people's lives and other people's days. Now next step, we are gonna slow. We are going to hop off the mic and do some off bike stretches. So when you're ready, slow the legs right down, unclip, uncage, and I'll meet you at the side of your bike. All right, team, when you're ready, grab onto one foot or ankle, bringing the knees together and keeping the chest proud. We're gonna do a quad stretch, pushing the hips forward. That's it. 
Just key into your breathing. And let's switch, perhaps using the bike for some help with the balance. Next up, we have a hamstring stretch. So take one heel into the floor, full points up, and tilt from the hips, holding your hips back and keeping your back flat, stretching up the back of the leg. And let's switch. Nice quick stretches to properly recover and move on with the day. Next up, figure four glute stretch. Cross one ankle over your opposite knee and then sit back like you're sitting into a chair, keeping the chest proud. Ensuring your hips are in line with your knees and your knees are in line with your ankles. Flexing the toes, you protect the knees. So many cues there. And switch. All right, back up. Take your feet hip width apart, hands on your handlebars. Sink the weight back, releasing your shoulder blades. And then come up onto your tippy toes, push away from the bike. Stretch up the core, release the lower back. And back down, give me one deep breath in, reach up to the sky, and exhale. Thank you so much for committing that time, for making the time, no matter if you did this at your lunch break, before work, after work, on a weekend, on your days off, whatever the case may be, we put in the work, we put in the effort. We gave it our all. If you like the ride, be sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. It really helps me get my rides out to as many people as I can. And I will see you in the next ride.